Hi guys, this is Spartan765 and this is a video on how to identify exactly what month and year your Remington 870 shotgun was made in. Um, there, there's codes on the receiver now. This, they're very simple to find and very simple to look at. I found a page on the internet with these codes on them. It does not come in very clear in the camera, so if you guys want to know how old your shotgun is, just send me these codes. They're usually just two, two letters. Or, uh, or uh, yeah, just two letters, and I'll tell you how old it is. Okay, now to locate these codes in your Remington 8 shotgun, you get your 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch only shorter shells, may, may say three inch or whatever. You got your choke, which is full, which obviously it's not anymore because I saw it off. Um, then you got this little loopy thing, which is this inspector stamp. And then right next to that, right here, there's these two little. If you got a really old one, it'll have two, uh, two letters right away instead of just one so there'd be a total of three letters but this only has two most will only have two anything made prior to 51 will have three okay so the first num first letter here you see is a P on this one you probably can't see very well P that's indicating that the shotgun was made in June now how w they did this I think was kinda neat because each number or letter here has a corresponding month with it and it just it spells out actually black powder and then X is December. X is December. So I think that's kind of cool. So B would be July or January, L February, A March, C April, K May, P June, and etc. And December is X. Okay. And then the last number right next to it is an A on this one. And how you identify that is you go, I went down to the chart here, looked for A, and we got 1954 is A. So that's identified as A. And some of these repeat once in here. So if you have one that repeats once, you just got to have a common knowledge of the firearm and you, you pretty much know. Like here is 1980, where it says A. But all Remington 870s made in 1980 were chambered already for 3-inch um, shells. So they would that would not be that's not valid for this shotgun because all 870s made in 1980 are were chambered for three inch, and this is only chambered for two and three quarter. So that says that this was made in 1954 in June. The day I don't know. I'm sure they could figure that by the serial number. Oh, another thing I'm going to answer from from people who are asking whether or not because sometimes they did put two and three quarter inch barrels on on a Magnum receiver. Because once they started to come out more with Magnum, they just made one receiver because it was easier. So, if you got a mag, if your serial number here, one way to, s to find out if your shotgun was made before 1968, I can just tell you this right now, is if your serial number starts with a number instead of a letter, then it was made before 1968. And the number in the back, uh, the letter in the back, I don't exactly know what this V means, but um, I do know that if it's, I've been told this by the guy at the gun shop. And it says it on this uh, form here, too, um, that if you have an M at the end, it means Magnum. It's a Magnum receiver. Okay, well, hope that helped. If you guys got any comments or questions, like I said, if you guys want me to, you give me these codes up here, and I can tell you how old your shotgun is, send me a message, and I can do that. Um, Spartan765 out.